Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to learn deeply about adverb, ad, how to form an adverb. Adverb is a, a word that is very important in French. So, as we are going on, you follow what we learned about adverb before. But this one is a deeper way to form an adverb. So, an adverb is a more variable word that modifies that modifies a verb or an adjective or another adverb. So, formation of adverb. Adverb could, could be formed by using simple words like bien, not bien, well, mal, bad, ici, here, la, de, to. We have to, early, ta, to, ta. Late, près, near, après, after, after, loin, loin, far, avant, before, before. Je peux bien parler le français. I can speak French well. I can speak French fluently. Using compound, compound word to form an adverb. Compound word, word, formed by, those compound words, they are formed by two, two words. And then we join them uh, to form an adverb. So those words can be adverb that you join together or some other word that you join together to form an adverb. So we have uh, that are joined together, like enfin, enfin, finally, enfin, finally, lastly, after all, and sweet, after, then, after, then, then next. Part two, everywhere, long time, a long time, quite a long time, toujours, always, aujourd'hui, today, il est toujours en retard, it's always late, see, adding the end ma, you can form an adverb by adding ma to the, to the feminine form of adjective, so use an adjective to form an adverb, you add the meaning, clear, clear, the mass meaning is uh, clear, the feminine, you add it to it, so in, in adverb now, it will mean, Become clairement, clair, clair, clairement, clair, clair, new, new, means here, new, nouveau, nouveau, the feminine is nouvelle, the feminine is nouvelle, nouvelle, the adverb now is uh, nouvellement, newly, newly, you have heureux, you have heureux, happy, heureux, happy, happy, the feminine is heureux, heureux, and uh, the adverb, is heureusement, heureusement, happily. You have another one, joyeux, joyous, merry. The feminine is joyous, and the adverb is joyeusement, joyfully. You have mad, mad means fool, in French is fool. The feminine is fall, and the adverb is follement, foolishly. You have vif, vif, lovely. Living. The thing of vif. The thing of vif is viv. Vivema. Vivema. Lovely. Sharply. Another way to find an adverb is to use masculine. Let's say the exception to this rule is as follows. The exception are as follows. And that is the end with two vowel. The end with two vowel. Normally, you drop the second one, which is e. You drop it and add math to it. Like this one, absolute. Absolute. Absolute, absolute, absolute. So, the feminine is uh, absolute, you add it to it. You add it to it, absolute. But the adverb now is absolument. Absolument. Absolutely. You have vrai. Vrai means true. The feminine is vrai. Vrai, you add it to it. So, to form the adverb, as you add uh, double. To vowel, remove the back e to become vraiment. That is it. Vraiment. Truly. Vraiment. Truly. Really. We have joli. Joli. Fine. Nice. The feminine is joli. And the adverb is joliment. Joliment. Pleasantly. Nicely. We have aze. Aze. Easy. Aze. Easy. The feminine is as a, add it with, but the, the adverb is as a man, 
Azima. Nasi, Azima, Nasi. Adverb and the bits. A N T A N E N T. That's what that. Uh, adjectives that are ended with a n t and uh, e n t from the adverb with e m m e n t or e a m m e n t or e m n e n t. So you have it there. These are the examples. Prida. The adjective is prida. We have prida. We have frequent. We have constant. We have. You can cut. You need to copy them. Constant, evident, puissant, simple. So, in the adjective, as of now, we have prudemment. Prudemment. Uh -huh. We have fréquemment. Prudemment, fréquemment, constamment. Constamment. Uh -huh. C'est bien. Prudemment, constamment, puissamment, évidemment, simplement. Uh -huh. That's the adverb and the, the meaning prudently, frequently, constantly, obviously, mightily, simply. That is it. So you need to copy them and be learning them. Some adverbs are exception from this rule. From this rule. Example, la. La means slow. So the adverb deriving from la is lentement. Lentement, slowly. Slowly. So some, uh, we are present. Present. Presentement. Presently, some adverb change the final e of the feminine form into its accent when the e m e n t is added to it, added to the adjective to form an adverb. <laughs> or if the adjective carries an accent, accent b, acute accent, so you just add m e n t to it. Example: comme, comme, il y a comme, il y a précis, comme. Précis, confus, aveugle. Common means common. Précis means precise. Confus means con confuse. Aveugle, blind, obscure, obscure, dark, immense, immense, enorm, enormous. And the, the adverb now is communement. Communement. See here. Communement, commonly, précisément, précisely, confusément, confuse, aveuglement, blindly, obscurement, obscurely, obscurely, immensement, immensely, énormément, enormous, enormously. Look at this here. Commonly, précisely, confusedly, blindly. Obscurely, immensely, enormously. So those are the ad adverbs. Look at the adverb here that we are forming with it. These are the adjectives. Number four, adjective with different irregularity. So they are the one way to form the adverb. We have gentil, gentil, gentil means kind, kind, gentle, kind, gentleman, kindly. We have impuni, impunit, impunit, impunit. impunit. Someone that is without the punishment. Impunema, that is the adverb with impunity. Impunity. We have brief, brief, short, brief. The adverb, brief, brevement. Brevement, that is briefly. Briefly. We have bon, good, bon, good. Bonnement, bonnement, bien. That is well, frankly. We have mauvais, bad. Mauvais means bad. The adverb is mal, mal, mal means bad. And uh, some adjective, some adjective are directly used as adverb in some expressions like aller droit to go, to go straight, parler haut, parler haut, to speak louder, coûter cher, to be costly. Voir clair, to see clearly. Sentir mauvais, to smell badly. Sentir bon, to feel good. Comfortable, to feel good, to be comfortable, to have good sense. 
these adverbs are classified according to the to to the idea to what they are they are talking about. Adverb of locality or place. You have EC part EC here part two everywhere Sahela here and there avant in front of devant devant in front of derrière derrière behind behind or out e e talk about place talk about place there à droite there à droite to the right uh, en avant en avant to the front to the front adverb of time adverb of time adverb i can find according to what they are they are mentioning yeah yeah it's not here yeah that is yesterday yeah yesterday mm -hmm. aujourd'hui today demain tomorrow Jadi, formal, in the old time, previously. Jadi, autrefois, in the past, souvent, often, toujours, always, jamais, never, de temps à temps, from time to time. Adverb of quality, peu, little, little, moins, less, so, autant, autant, so much, as many, as much. Adverb of okay, we see that adverb of time quantity true to see see if tre if tre very av advantage more advantage because déjà already plutôt rather and all the adverbs that end with ma, they are adverbs of mana. So we have adverbs of mana also here. Gain, that is well, big, fast, mal, bad. Two, we saw some of them before. But here we are classing them. Two, all, pay and pay. Little by little, pay and pay. Little by little. Ensemble. Together. Ensemble, together, devant, upright, standing, contra, against, against, command, command, it's not comment, so. command, how, v mieux, better, déjà, already, plutôt, rather, and all the adverbs that end with e m e n t adverb of affirmation confirmation we oui, yes said yes indeed certainly 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 volcan volunteer willingly we have adverb of of doubts, uh, probablement, probably, peut-être, perhaps, maybe, sans doute, without doubt, without doubt. Position of adverb. Position of adverb. Adverb can follow the v the verb. Ad So, we have adverb, which of adverb, adverb can follow the verb, the, the past participle, or even basically the past participle. Un homme bien habillé, a well-dressed man, in this condition, the position of, uh, of the adverb determined by, is determined by the use of an empty adjective in that area. So, there are so many things like that.
So we have adverb, adverb I also use as negative form. Negative form. Before that one, impact grammar of French. It's French. Friendly. Negative form. To write an, a sentence in negative form, you must write the verb or the auxiliary verb of that sentence. In, of that sentence. In the middle, in the middle, that is in between the middle of any of the following that you have here. You have no pas. No pas means not. You have no plus. No plus means no more. No, no plus means no more. No pas. No plus. No more. No guerre. Hardly. No rien. Nothing. No que. Only. Uh, not more than. Not more than. We, we, we have some, another idea. Yeah. We have no point, not at all. No new, not in any way. Ne jamais, never. No, no person. It means that all this where they put point point is the verb or the auxiliary verb that must be there. I will see an example now. No, no, ni, ni, neither nor. So, look at this example here. The choice of any of them depends on the meaning of your negative sentence, but Mepa is common, is mostly used. I am eating bread. Je mange du pain. That is easy. In negative form now, je ne mange pas du pain. Look at it here. Je ne mange pas du pain. That means that I'm not eating bread. I'm not eating bread. I ate bread. J'ai mangé du pain. J'ai mangé du pain. Now, not to put in negative form. Look at the negative form here. Je n'ai pas mangé du pain. Hey, is it the AI is the auxiliary verb of the verb to have. I have not, and uh, mangé is uh, the past participle. So, ne pas. Ne parle pas. Don't talk. Je ne suis rien devant Dieu. I am nothing before God. I am nothing before God. And uh, I don't mange du serpent. I don't eat meat. In negative form, we have I don't ne mange pas du serpent. I don't ne mange pas. I don't ne mange pas du serpent. I don't never eat never eat meat. Or I don't not eat meat. So this and is a, a word assignment. Write some adverb from the following adjective. Put adjective here. You use them to write your adverb. Suffi sufficient. Here is suffisant, violent, here is violent, patient, here is patient, bold, here is vaillant. The other side we have multi power, multi powerful, that is puissant, abundant, abundant, abundant. We have wicked, méchant. And uh, the, the next one, wicked, méchant, learned, savant, innocent, innocent, the same spelling. Some of them have the same spelling in French and English. Prudent, prudently, prudent, <coughs> has a large meaning. Prudent, prudently, innocent, 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 prudent, prudent, innocent, innocent, we saw prudent before. So you write some ad adverb out of them. Replace the underlying expression by an adverb. So we will do them. This one so we can snap it and do it. God bless you. We help to share this video. All these adverbs now, you can write them here. The verb that is in that sentence. In, in. This is so. so Verb, soigner, soin. This one is soin, care. The verb for me is soigner, to take care. Soign, soigneux, ad, ad, adjective, soigneusement, and carefully. So you two wrap your own with habitude, habit. Please, habit, admiration, ad, admiration, admiration. Liberté, that is liberty. Dureté, hardness, difficulty, courage, courage. Respect, faiblesse.
Fabulous grandeur. That is size. Fair. That is peace. So you write adverb with that. Other one here. Correction. Negligence. 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 Abandon. Some they are not. They are abandoned. Okay, thank you. You will help us share and, and subscribe to get informed about the next video. Before, remember, we are seeing what? Advert. How to form an advert. The one we are seeing today in a deeper manner.